Okay, here's another question. Uh, the multiplier appears fairly regularly on macroeconomic multiple choice questions and papers and things. So here's a question about uh, saving and the multiplier. We're told we have a closed economy. That means we can ignore exports and imports. And the marginal propensity to save increases whilst tax rates remain unchanged. And our question is, what effect will this have on the marginal propensity to consume and on the value of the multiplier? So here's your chance to have a go. Press that pause button. And when you're ready, come back to me. Let's check our answers in the explanation. OK, so we're told that the marginal propensity to save has increased. What's the effect on the marginal propensity to consume? And what's the effect on the value of the multiplier? What did you get for your answer? The correct answer is A. The marginal propensity to consume will fall and the multiplier will decrease as well. So the marginal propensity to consume plus the marginal propensity to save must always equal 1. Any change in income can either be spent or saved. If the marginal propensity to save or MPS rises, then the MPC must fall. So it's got to be either A or B. For example, uh, if people are saving 20% of any gain in income and they're spending 80%, but if the rate of saving goes up to 30%, 0.3, then the marginal propensity to consume must fall to 0.7. People are spending 70% of any gain in income. What about the multiplier? Well, the multiplier in this situation, we can ignore tax. We've only got two leakages from the circular flow to build into our formula. The formula for the multiplier in this example is 1 divided by the two leakages, the marginal rate of tax, MRT, plus the marginal propensity to save. So well, we're told that tax rates remain unchanged, so MRT stays the same, but MPS has gone up, marginal propensity to save has increased. Therefore, the, the coefficient for the multiplier, 1 divided by those two marginal propensities, that's going to... the, the Denominator will have gone up, a rise in the MPS will therefore mean that the numerical value of the multiplier will have gone down, because it's 1 divided by a bigger, a bigger number. Okay, so that's how you answer this question on changes in savings rates and the multiplier.